जो है नारायण व्यास यूनिवर्सिटी बी ए थर्ड ईयर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पेपर टू ड्रामा और थेलो बाय विलियम शेक्सपियर विलियम शेक्सपियर वॉज एन इंग्लिश पोइट प्ले राइट एंड एक्टर ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अप्रिल फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी फोर इन स्ट्रैट फॉर डिपॉन हिज फादर वॉज अ सक्सेसफुल लोकल बिजनेस मैन एंड हिज मदर वॉज द डॉटर ऑफ अ लैंड ओनर शेक्सपियर इज वाइल्डली रिकॉर्डेड widely regarded as the greatest writer in the english language and the world's preeminent dramatist he is often called england's national poet and nicknamed the bard of avon he wrote about 38 plays 154 sonnets two long narrative poems and a few other verses of which the authorship of some is uncertain his plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright marriage and career shakespeare was mar- shakespeare married anne hathaway at the age of 18 she was 8 years older than him they had three children susanna the twins hamnet and judith after his marriage information about his life became very rare We don't know much about his life after marriage but he thought to have spent most of his time in London writing and performing in his plays between 1585 and 1592 he began a successful career in London as an actor writer and part owner of a playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men later known as the King's Men <clears throat> retirement and death around 1613 at the age of 49 he retired to stratford where he died 3 years later few records of shakespeare's private life survive he died on 23rd april 1616 at the age of 52 he died within a month of signing his will a document which he begins by describing himself as being in the perfect health In his will Shakespeare left the bulk of his large estate to his elder daughter Susanna Shakespeare's works Shakespeare produced most of his known work between 1589 and 1613 His early plays were mainly comedies and histories and these works remain regarded as some of the best work produced in these genres He then wrote mainly tragedies until about 1608 including Hamlet, Othello, Othello that is in your course, King Lear and Macbeth, considered some of the finest works in the English language. In his last phase, he wrote tragic comedies, also known as romances, and collaborated with other playwrights. Shakespeare's plays remain highly popular today and are constantly studied, performed, and reinterpreted in diverse cultural and political contests throughout the world. You the third year students are highly privileged to get introduced to Shakespeare because without Shakespeare English literature doesn't have a name it is if you tell someone that you are a student of literature they will ask you have you read Shakespeare so you had a poem of Shakespeare in first year and now you have uh, you have a, a, tra- a comedy of Shakespeare in second year and tragedy which is supposed to be loftier and larger is they are prescribed in your third year now shakespeare language shakespearean language is a little different from the normal english language but as you start reading it especially if you read it loudly things are not not at all difficult so i will recommend dear students to read aloud all the lines of shakespeare which are prescribed in the play why because you are going to get a reference from these lines and you need to know about these lines for any other problem you can contact me whenever you feel like